Hello, welcome. My name is Heath with Guardian Angel Support for Amazing Charts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a computer to your already existing Amazing Charts network. Now, as we go through this video, you're going to notice uh, some things pop up. I haven't really uh, prepared this computer in any way, shape, or form. I really want to see, I want you to see what happens when working with Windows, what kind of things could happen. So before we begin, you're going to need to prepare your main computer uh, with Amazing Charts uh, and then set it to share the Amazing Charts folder and to open up any firewall ports that you might need to do so. In which case, please look to some other videos uh, in this directory here. You're looking for a video called Sharing the Amazing Charts folder and then Opening Firewall Ports. You're going to need to do both of those things on your main computer before you begin to add a local to it. So we're going to call this a local computer, this computer we're working on now. So there's a few things that you need to do to prepare your computer to install a new piece of software. Right now we're working with Windows 7. Uh, of course you can use Windows Vista. Uh, you can use XP. Uh, I'm going to show you this on Windows 7 as there is a lot more security on Windows 7 computers that you might need to get by in order to be able to install software freely. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for user account controls. Go down here to your start menu. Uh, and then you're going to open up your control panel. Uh, in your control panel, when you first open it up, it probably looks more uh, like this with your individual icons and headers here. You can also change that over here and uh, click small icons just so you can see them all at the same time in front of you. Now we're going to need to look at uh, two things in user account controls. Go ahead and click user account controls. You're going to see your name listed here. You're also going to want to make sure that you are an administrator for the computer. If you are not an administrator or signed on with an administrator's account, you will not be able to install all the pieces of software that you want to. Uh, so if you are only a user on the computer, you will need to sign on as the administrator in order to make changes. While you're in here, you also see another option that says change user account control settings. We're going to need to take a look at this particular piece. Uh, now, when you first get uh, your computer up and running, it's probably going to be set to here, which basically gives you lots of pop-ups anytime that you go to install a piece of software. Now, uh, it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to install this, and every time th something pops up on you, you're going to have to approve it. It also could potentially stop you from installing something. So what you're going to need to do is drag this down to Never Notify and click OK. Now, please note, if this is the first time you've made this change, you will need to restart this computer in order for that change to take effect. Uh, also in here, when you go into Manage User Accounts, this is going to give you uh, different user accounts listed on your, either depending on how you have your network set up, uh, it's mostly what you're looking for is your user account that you're signed on as. This is going to tell you whether or not you are an administrator and therefore can make the necessary changes to the computer. So if you've turned off your user account control uh, and you've also ensured that you are an administrator on that computer and on that account on that computer. Uh, next thing you want to do is make sure there is no other antivirus or any sort of program running that is going to stop you from installing a program. Uh, there are some and if you're not sure what you're looking for take a look down at the bottom right hand corner of your computer. Click this arrow you might see it right out here in front of you but if you click this arrow it'll show you other things here. If you just hover over these it'll tell you what they are. Uh, and if you see something that is some sort of security, you might need to go and make adjustments. This one in particular is Microsoft's Security Essentials. You will need to make an exception in order for this to go through. It could potentially stop you from working. Right click on that and open it uh, and now go into your settings. And if you do in fact have this on right underneath real time protection, uh, you can go ahead and turn it off and save your changes. It is going to give you a, a, a splash message probably when you first open it up, something like this right here, turn on Microsoft Security Essentials. Uh, you can go ahead and turn that on when you're finished, but at least this will get you to that stage where you can go ahead and install a, uh, our software uh, without it stopping you. Now, at this point you're finished, uh, we can go ahead and take the next step. If you've watched those two videos, one entitled Sharing the Amazing Charts folder, the other one entitled Opening Firewall Ports, then chances are your network has been set up and you can browse to that particular computer. 
Once again, I haven't really prepared this computer. I just want to see what kind of messages may pop up, uh, and then we'll deal with them as they come. So let's uh, go down here to our Start menu and see if we can find our main computer on our network. So click your Start menu and go over to Computer, and then what we're looking for is this Network button right here. Go ahead and click this, and we'll see what happens. All right, the first message we're going to have to deal with is up top here. Network discovery is turned off. Network computers and devices are not visible. Click to change. So I'm just going to click that, and I'm going to turn on network uh, discovery and file sharing. Now we're going to give that a chance to repopulate. And depending on how many computers you have on your network, uh, it could take a while, it could take just, just a couple of seconds. So now I'm going to look for our main computer on this network. Okay, here's my main computer. I know this is the one I'm going to be working with. If I double-click this computer, it's going to show me a couple of things. One of the things that I did, of course, if you watch the first two videos, which I recommended, which was sharing the Amazing Charts folder, and opening firewall ports. Watching both of those videos and performing those tasks on your main computer should now mean that you have an, a shared Amazing Charts folder in which to navigate to. Go ahead and double click this and it, you should be able to see all of the files in your main, on your main computer in the Amazing Charts folder. Now there's a couple of things that you need to do before you begin to install. The first is you should really find out what version of Amazing Charts you're using. Here is the Amazing Charts Execute icon. Right-clicking on this icon, going down to Properties, and then in this new window that pops up, go ahead and select Details. This will tell me that on my main computer, I am running version 6.0.9. We're going to, if we want to install uh, Amazing Charts on this new computer that we're working on, we're going to need to ensure that we're installing the same version. Uh, so what we need to do uh, on this one in particular, whenever I've done an install, uh, if I've done an install for you specifically, you probably noticed that I put a copy of the installer uh, and possibly a database tuner on the main computer. Now, what I, I also dragged it to the Amazing Charts folder, and the reason for this is pretty easy. If, if you have another three or four computers, let's say, uh, that you want to add, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to just go to your shared Amazing Charts folder, grab that 609 folder that has the installer, go ahead and open up that folder. Here is our installer. So now that we've shared that, we can just drag and copy that to the desktop we're working on. Uh, this is going to save you a whole lot of time in the future if you do decide there is uh, another computer that you'd like to add to your Amazing Charts network. Uh, just go ahead and put that installer, the original one that you used when installing, uh, amazing charts. Just put that right on your shared folder and then from that point forward if you ever need the installer you can just click and drag it to whichever computer you're working on. Uh, okay so we have the installer here now on our desktop which means we can now begin to install amazing charts. We've already verified a few things. Uh, we've already made the necessary firewall exception ports on our main computer. We've also uh, shared the amazing charts folder uh, and now it is visible when I go ahead and uh, select it here. I'll go ahead and close this window out, and I'm going to start installing Amazing Charts at this point. Uh, I find the best way to do this, keep that uh, installer right on the desktop. It's a lot easier to find and get to if you get a nice clean desktop and you can get that installer. Uh, go ahead and right-click on it. Instead of double-clicking like so uh, and then starting Amazing Charts, instead, right-click and run as administrator. This may be necessary. It depends on what kind of security you have on your computer. Uh, it might kick some uh, error messages at you here and there. Right-clicking and running as administrator does bypass a lot of things and allows you to install without issue. So I'm going to sit back here for a few minutes and we'll just watch the uh, screens that pop up and we'll see what uh, comes up. Okay, here is our first pop-up window with which we're going to need to make a decision. You see this uh, title right up at the top, is this your main computer? Uh, to answer this question, you have three choices. One is, yes, at least for now, this will be my main computer. This option should only be used on the main computer. This is a local computer or a networked computer. Uh, we're going to pick the second option, which is no. You do see a third option, which is sort of. I can explain that for you as well. 
Sort of, this isn't the main computer per se, but I may want to sync this computer and take amazing charts off-site. Uh, so let's say, for instance, you were going to use a laptop and you wanted to continue to use amazing charts uh, outside the office. There is an option uh, in a feature called Sync, uh, and for more information you can visit our website uh, on how to sync your computer. What that would in effect do is take your uh, database from your main computer and temporarily put it on a laptop so you can work off-site. Uh, so, once again, only use this first option on your main computer. Uh, what we're doing here is connecting a local to, to the main, so we're going to pick this second option. If you're going to add multiple computers, you're going to pick the second option for all remaining computers. When you're ready, click Continue. Now, as we are working, you might notice that the uh, pop-up screens that you click on do disappear. Uh, rest assured, it is still installing, so you don't have to worry that the installation uh, has stopped. Just give it a few minutes as soon as it's ready and finished uh, installing that portion. It'll give you another pop-up letting you know it's time for the next step. Okay, welcome to Amazing Charts, Installation Wizard. Go ahead and click Next here. You'll need to accept the license agreement and click Next. Uh, this is going to give me my default uh, destination folder. It's going to be C Program Files x86 Amazing Charts. If you just want to put it in the default path, then you'll know where to look for it later. Uh, if you do need to change it, you can browse and put it in a different location if you like. Uh, and we are also going to install this for anybody who uses this computer. So we'll go ahead and click Next here. And then one more Next, and it's continuing to run. Okay, we've reached our final screen, which tells you that Amazing Charts has been successfully installed. Go ahead and click Finish here, and then let's go ahead and start Amazing Charts. Double-click the icon on your desktop, and you'll see our splash screen start. Now, here's where you'll see your first option, first and only option you really need to connect to your main computer. Uh, this is your setup assistant. Uh, this is not a bad thing if you see this. What this is telling you is that it needs to find the main computer. So here's where you're going to walk it to your main computer. Click Next here, and now it's going to ask you, is this the main computer on which your Amazing Charts databases reside? The answer for this and all other computers in your network is going to be no. So you've got one main computer, that's your main computer or server that houses the database. All others, you're going to click No. We need to browse for the database. Now, you would simply go down to your left-hand column, and you're going to click on your network again. And now, as this populates, it'll give you just a second to look and find your main computer. Uh, let me go ahead and find it here. And you're going to click your Amazing Charts folder, the Shared Amazing Charts folder, and it's looking for an XML file called, uh, named Amazing Charts. If you scroll down to the end, you'll notice all of these uh, folders that you'll see. In the very last one, you'll see your XML file. There's your XML document entitled Amazing Charts. You can either double-click it or simply click and then click Open. And now it's going to attempt to connect to your main computer. All right, we have a sign-on screen. Uh, now, when you go up to your username and uh, you click the down arrow, you should see all the same users that you see on your main computer, uh, which means your main computer has now been shared out, and this computer is accessing the database on your main computer. Uh, if you go ahead and take whichever uh, person you are from the list, go ahead and sign in here. Make sure you can sign in. The first time you sign in from a local computer, it'll probably give you a welcome screen that says which version you're running and also let you know if there's an update available. Uh, and if you want to double check to see where you are, just go to Help and About Amazing Charts. It's going to give you your About Amazing Charts window. One of the things on that window uh, is your location of your main database. This will tell us our main database is on that computer, and it will give you the file path to the main computer. And now you have successfully added this computer to your Amazing Charts network. Thanks again for watching. This is Heath with Guardian Angel Support for Amazing Charts.